what's up with it y'all it's JD and I'm back with another quick video in today's video I wanted to make a quick little informative video uh, about co-working spaces if you're ever visiting Salvador de Bahia so I've actually kind of been in kind of like a work funk in terms of like my video editing in terms of just getting on the computer and getting stuff done in general um, you know one thing I'm not really too keen on with Salvador is the Airbnb situation you know, the Airbnb I got is super basic, internet's not that good, doesn't really have a good, like, working setup. So one thing I was looking for, and I've been looking for, like, the past couple weeks since I've been here is a good co-working space. And one thing I noticed is that a lot of the co-working spaces were super expensive. And uh, at least super expensive in relativity to how much things cost in Brazil. And they were kind of inconvenient in terms of where they were located. Um, but. I was actually just kind of taking a stroll through the mall and just kind of checking out what they had in the mall and I actually came up on a co-working space that's actually in here in the mall and it's 100% free. So it's a cool little spot, don't get me wrong, it's not like you have your own private room or anything like that. Um, there's going to be a lot of people just in there kind of like chilling, charging their phones. You know, there may be a couple other people in there doing work as well. It's a quiet space which is a good thing. and. Uh, it's not necessarily going to come with all the amenities that your typical co-working space is going to come with, but at the same time, it's a quiet space. You can use the free mall Wi-Fi, and the uh, mall Wi-Fi is actually super good. The uh, connection is super strong. Everything I need to do on the computer runs real smooth. Um, if you guys want to grab some coffee right outside of the co-working spot, the bar of co-working, uh, there's a little cafe right here and I'm actually stopped to get a little espresso shot right now and uh, you know this espresso shot is like seven reais which I believe in US dollars is about a dollar and forty cents so you can get a quick little cheap coffee they got all types of good looking cakes over here man I'm super tempted to grab some of this cake it had one little German chocolate one over there I was looking good so you can get your work done there's actually a gym right behind me so if you guys you know, are staying in the Salvador area in Bahia and you're staying in uh, the Barra area. Um, you can actually get a gym membership. There's a couple different gyms in this mall, but right outside the mall is where I actually do a lot of my calisthenics workouts because there's a dope little calisthenics area right outside of the mall as well. So, you know, you can get your work done and then you can go get your workout in. And then there's all different types of little restaurants that you can eat at in the mall. It's going to be a little bit more expensive than if you're eating outside of the mall, but they have some pretty good stuff in here. So I just wanted to put you guys up on game if you guys are ever in Salvador Bahia and you're staying in a bar area and you need a place to work. So for me, this is probably going to be my go-to spot every single day. I probably say it's about a 15-minute walk from where I'm staying at but it's well worth it in terms of being able, able to have a place where I can concentrate, have like stable Wi-Fi to where I'm gonna be able to get everything done. I don't need to worry about upload speeds, download speeds. If I need to have a, a quick call with somebody on Zoom, I don't need to worry about the call going out because it's a quiet space and I can actually get some work done while I'm in there. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm actually going to have some more videos in terms of things that you can do in Salvador Bahia and also, you know, which areas are probably the best areas to stay. I'm staying in the area called Bar Baja. I, I keep on saying Barra just because it's spelled B-A-R-R-A, -R -R -A, but it's actually Baja, which is south. So I'm staying in the south area. I actually highly recommend this area because, you know, it's right next to the beach. It's right next to the mall. There's some calisthenic spots. Uh, around there's also some gyms it's pretty convenient it's probably gonna be as convenient as you can get in Salvador Bahia I'll probably say one thing about Salvador that I haven't really been feeling as much as being in like Rio or Sao Paulo is as far as like getting into a workflow and being in a city that has like that high intensity that, that high energy levels in terms of kind of getting creative and putting in work this is more of like a chill spot. This kind of has like more like Hawaii vibes, more vacation vibes. And in all reality, if you're in this area, Baja, where I'm staying at, most of the people who are here are actually here on vacation. It's actually a lot of Brazilians who have come here on vacation. I think Salvador de Bahia is like the number one vacation spot for Brazilians because, you know, it's fairly low cost and it's got beautiful beaches. It's super chill, good food, everything like that. So. Uh, as far as that goes, it's a good place, but as far as like the workflow, I 
definitely have been struggling since I've been here. And uh, you can tell because I haven't really been making too much content in the last couple weeks. But hopefully with this newfound uh, co-working space at uh, Shopping Bada or Shopping Baja, uh, I'll be putting out more content and kind of getting more locked in and focused. So if you guys are ever out here, make sure you stop through the mall, check out this uh, co-working Baja co-working space. Like I said, free of charge, good internet, got a cafe right across the street, or got a cafe right outside of it, and right across from it, there's actually a, a cinema, there's actually a movie theater right across from it as well. So, you know, if you're somebody who kind of, you know, doesn't mind coming into a mall atmosphere where people, a lot of people are doing a lot of shopping and stuff, it's probably a cool place to come check out. But anyways, guys, uh, if you guys are interested in a free one-on-one -on -one consultation, hit my website up. That's travelstenics.com. You can book a free consultation with me today. We can chop it up about fitness, travel, life, whatever you want to chop it up about. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.